Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Tenderfoot Tactics. How cool does this look already? So this game smacks of uh, sort of theme and unique art style. It seems to be some sort of uh, like turn-based, party-based um, tactics game, funnily enough. Um, but the, the graphics, the art direction from what I've seen is very difficult to describe, but it's unique and it looks really cool. And uh, I figure let's have a bloody look. New game, let's go. Look, <laughs> Pascal. Look, the tower. Perhaps the spirit is within. What tower? Is that the tower? No. Okay. New quest, enter the tower. Okay. That's the tower there, all right. Overworld movement. What's this? Rotate the mamra, uh, camera while holding right click or use Q and E. Move your party with Wazda. Jump with spacebar. Crouch slide with left shift. I can click move. Spacebar. Okay. Well, that's weird. Well, here you go. Go to the into the tower. Let's go, boys. <laughs> this looks great. Willow, it's empty. We should wait. The spirit was here recently. They will return. But it isn't dangerous out here. But isn't it dangerous out here with the fog so near? We'll hole up inside. Hopefully the spirit does not take our entrance as a breach of trust. Well, you'd hope so. But we are just bloody hanging out in the dude's house, you know? But in the dark of night, a bang and a crash reverberating through the tower. Uh, the door blown clear off its hinges. The three jumped to their feet, groggy but still armed and ready for battle. All right, let's go. Who are these blokes? All right, turns in turn order. Goblins take turns. Oh, I'm a goblin. Take turn one at a time in an order specified on the turn order display on the right side of the screen. Yeah, this is standard stuff. The number of turns until a goblin goes next is also noted above their head. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, on your turn, you may move once and act once in either order. You may also wait and skip the remainder of your turn. Okay, cool. Can I just press escape out of this? And in combat deployment, at the start of each battle, you can select your goblins and place them in the deployment zone. You can also adjust your initial turn order by dragging and dropping within the turn order displayed on the right. Oh, okay. Default deployment state is determined by their order in your party menu, which you can also adjust. Oh, well, I'm happy with whatever's going on here. That's fine. Tab to begin. Let's go. The fog. Warriors, surely you do not hide from us. Why would you come to gain the strength of a spirit when the strength of the whole fog could be yours? Wow, so the fog's gonna talk shit. Alright, um, attack. Zap him. Alright. Radial menu. I'll just wait. I'll just wait there. Who's next, man? Oh, set facing? Ah. The dawn of an empire is upon you. And this, tonight, is your chance to become an important individual in the making of the next age. Lay down your weapons. Well, oh, this fog, he talks a big game. Silence, I know this lie. Such an empire will never bend to the will of its servants. Um, aspirants uh, to that scale of power will only find themselves tools to it. Oh, okay. Ha! From within you will be servants, tools. From without you will be nothing. Our power is vast. Far beyond the pitiful little town you hail from. We are the only future. Come, let us show you. Come on then, mate. Bring it on. I got plenty. I got all night, you know? All right. So which bloke am I now? I'm this other guy. What's he got? He's got an attack. He's got a grenade. Breaks destruct. Well, yeah. Let's get this grenade in involved. Boots. Get slotted. Radial menu. We're just going to wait. And facing. 
Oh, he's oh, he's got a gad as well. No good. All right. Attack. Oh, he's got first aid. Boots. Oh, now we're getting the music going. Oh my goodness! All right, you can wait. And facing. Right. What have you got? Anethestize. Plus numb. Plus 12 max health reduces the effect of unnerve. Oh, wow, okay. Right, so we basically we've got two DPS support. And facing. Okay, we're, get, we're getting there. Move. Oh, I got X. I had to pick up his bits for XP, did I? Oh, big hit! Hey, absolutely none of that will be going on. No, not first aid. Yeah, divvy up that XP. Oh, he seems to have gotten more. Okay. Leave. Bloodied and thoroughly roused, the goblins blocked up the door as best they could with what furniture they found nearby, and in a quiet, sustained panic, they waited for the fog to come again. But it did not. Dude, plain as goblins is rad. Many hours passed, and finally the sun took its place in the mid-morning sky. They saw the spirit approaching, and quickly cleared the door, and went out to greet them. Holy dooly! O oh, great spirit, it is I, Pascal, honor guard of Hawk. Do you remember me? Tangerine! Oh, I do not remember much, little Pascal. I am afraid I find myself much diminished, today at least, and perhaps yesterday as well. Surely tomorrow. I really like this writing, actually. Spirit, we three come to be of service to you, to join with you, in exchange for the gift of your magic, that we be made stronger by your grace. Well, I'm very weak and can offer you little just now. It may be some time until I can return you to your homes. But if you would stay with me, I would be grateful for the help. Oh, well, there we go. Let's help out M Mr. Mega Spirit. And so they did stay. But their presence seemed only to diminish the spirit further, and the spurts of self that came through were not so clear at all. What did come through turned them away always westward. They didn't fully understand why, but they knew that they needed to make a trip, and they felt that they might not return. Oh, how ominous. Wait, how, how come I've got four dudes now? Is the spirit in my team? What's this? Nix. I got a spear goblin. Nice. Quip. Evolve. How good is this? <laughs> goblin. Unskilled mutt. Extremely common and just as versatile. Oh, knight. Goblin 4. Oh wow, look at that. I want to be the fatty boomba. Groom. Oh, and I could probably change the way they look. No, I like all my little crew being random. Alright, overworld movement. No, no, we did that. We did that. Bird's eye. Use a middle mouse scroll wheel uh, to take to the skies as a bird or return to your goblins at ground level. Oh, cool. As a bird, you'll be able to see markers you can't see from the land. Finding and claiming more birds from the wild will let you fly higher and see farther. <gasps> I'm a bloody bird. All right, there's a marker over there, right? Resting place, nettle. Oh, okay, and I told the bird to go, and so they're gonna go. You're just gonna run straight in the drink, are you? <gasps> We've got a car, we've got a, a water car. Also known as a boat. Oh, now this is... This is cool!
Fayweed. Oh. Who's this bloke? Is he a sus looking dude? He is. <gasps> and then it cuts straight. Oh, wow. This is rad. Only the best games on this channel theme. All right, here we go. Begin. Yeah, begin's fine. I'm happy for it to happen however it's gonna happen. Stop, don't, don't jab me blokes. Don't do that. He's got a grenade. Maybe that's on cooldown or something. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you, mate? Look, you've blocked your warrior off. You've made a boo-boo. Oh. First aid. Oh, no. trapped in the bushes. Um. What? Oh no. My little goblins. They're in trouble. <gasps> Killed one of my little men. How good is this music? No, he's too close, I think. This is not going to go well. I guess we're going to find out what happens when you die. My turn. Retry or flee home? Let's flee home. What's that do? Are we back at the tower? Is that what's going on? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Can I go to like a map or anything? Hoggle. No? Ok, 
Can you get there too? Alright, let's go there. Oh, what's that? Mountains? Oh, maybe that's like the ocean? Bog on the ocean? Don't be nervous, guys. The bird will guide us. It's all good. What an awesome game. It's a town. Oh no. Hey man. How do I? Like ah, oh. cool. Just look at that pure, clear, flat water. If only I hadn't skipped every flat stone on this whole. Okay. Gobdan Peninsula. Oh, what I would give for a handful of skippable little discs. Well, maybe we might have to help her out, eh? Fine bunch of eyes on you, I can tell. Oh, he's a shop. Okay. Right. Only a centaur itself could sculpt a figurine so coarse and inaccurate. Indeed. A self-portrait, and what's more, a relic from the age of fairy? Oh, okay. I might part with it, perhaps in exchange. No, I'm good. I don't want your fucking statue, mate. Hey, you travelling type? Yeah, look, I've got this rare musky jaw I'm trying to offload. Ah. I need a sprig of each of basil, sage, and thyme. You know, I guess. Sure. Rest? Yeah. Okay, I guess that counts as like a save, maybe? Alright, what's a... A map of the nearby area? You love to see it. Okay. Is that me down here, maybe? Maps. In towns and some other locations around the archipelago, You'll find physical map boards. Viewing them will add them to your map collection. Which you can bring up by pressing the map button on the bottom right corner of the screen. Ah! Maps mark locations that the map makers might find useful. Okay. Maps don't have any special magic properties and they would show you where you're on them. Be warned, map markers may not agree with your concepts. Okay. Go for a What's that? Bird's nest. Let's go check it out. Damn it, I wish that kept auto running. Alright, so we'll run onto this, I guess. Oh, what an unusual game. I like it so far.
Alright, so what's this? It's like a tree or something. Oh, a jump and slide gives you a significant boost. Basil. Okay. Let's have a squeeze here. Is that a car? It's like a car, doesn't it? Let's see if we can catch it. What the hell? Or maybe it's not a car. It's like a cave or something. I thought it was a car. Nettle satisfied. Nettle's one of my dude. And unspent skill point. Oh! Okay. It's hard to say, but I think that's half the game. Hmm. Let's go a fragmentary memory. Let's go there. This is cool. It's very peaceful. I, um, it's interesting. It's a little bit at odds with me personally because of the setup being so gray, right? I, I don't mind a little bit of a all over the place intro. You know, it set up some sort of intrigue and curiosity and exploration, but I kind of wish it grabbed the reins just a little bit. And was like, you need to do this because you're stupid. And, um, yeah. So that's sort of my one bash against it, I, I suppose. But arguably, the, the, my bash indicates that this game is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. If you follow. Hmm. Alright, well. How cool is that? I don't even know what's going on there. Woad. Ah. Okay, cool. Well, look, I'm, I'm probably going to finish there. You've got an idea of what this game is, or at least as much of an idea as I could give you in 30 minutes, and as much of a first impression that would probably get you over the line to buy it. You know what I mean? There could be all sorts of crazy, I don't know, bloody boss battles and more giant gods and some really interesting stuff with the art style, but there's no way of knowing or guaranteeing that we can get to that in the early stages. But as far as a first impression, this actually sets a really good one. I like it. I think it's unusual and a bit quirky, a bit off the wall. It's shown what it is, that it is actually just a tactics fighter and not a very complicated one at that. But a lot of high damage as well. That might have been just that sort of battle. Maybe we were in a Dark Souls sort of situation where the game wanted to kill you to sort of humble you, perhaps? But um, but otherwise, it, it seems like essentially like a, a very low, I suppose, time to kill. Not that this is the right genre for that statistic. But yeah, uh, not a complicated system but very, yeah, punishing, which is uh, really quite interesting to me. 
But um, but yeah, and then this cruising around the world, this painterly art and this cool little bloody bird and all that and the movement system for it. It's very different and unusual and unique and I actually rate it. I rate it quite a bit. So that's pretty much what I'd like to say about it all. Well team, let me know if this is something that really interests you and I put it on your radar because that always makes me pretty happy. That makes my day knowing these things. Um, on top of that, if you want to see more of this on the channel, just let me know. I'll be happy to play some more. I'm very curious what comes of this game next. Otherwise, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.